Mmm, interesting. Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to Sewing a Little. So, in today's video, we're going to show you how to make this beautiful cover for your book. And if you're here for the first time, then you may or may not know that we did upload our first tutorial and it's actually very important that you see that one um, before you see this one because that one is our tutorial for our book bag or our book clutch and it's in conjunction with this one so we're making like a two separate video type of set so that you can have your book bag and also your book cover so go ahead and watch that one so that you can make both of them if you have time of course or if you'd like and you can have both of them for your book collection and it's a very nice set to have so today's video is going to be the book cover and as you can see it does have the spine also decorated and everything is in conjunction is the same fabric as the combination fabric and again, we opted for the letter T since that is the same one that we have for the book bag. But again, you don't have to put a letter. Um, you can use your letter for your initial or you can also use a decoration like a flower or a heart whatever you like but again this is a very easy tutorial and we're not only going to show you how to make this book cover but we're also going to be showing you how to make this book mark and it's also in conjunction so you're going to have the bookmark that also has that combination fabric and it also has the letter t so it's going to be a bonus for this tutorial it's going to be like two in one all right so let's not wait anymore and let's get sewing to cut the Lisa book cover, we are going to need a piece of fabric. In our case, we are using this strap of fabric we have left over. This is a scrap of fabric that we have here at home. But remember that all the measurements and instructions will be indicated in the pattern. The direct link is down below in the description box. We will also need weights, scissors, or a rotary blade, and pins. From this, we will need two pieces. Here we will be cutting the two parts that are needed for the book, the cover and the outside. Always remember to mark the notches that are indicated in the pattern. These signs here are to mark the space that we are going to leave open while we are sewing so that we can turn it over. Pelon is an ultra firm, smooth, heavyweight, fusible interfacing for light to medium weight fabric. We will be linking all the products and machinery used in this tutorial down below in the description box. Again, all the instructions will be indicated in the pattern. From this piece that we are cutting, we are going to need two of the fabric and half of the pelon. For the detail, we are going to be using the same fabric as the set. Again, for this we are going to be using the stabilizer or iron-on adhesive. You can see in the last video in which we show you the tutorial of the book bag as a whole, since there we also use the adhesive for the decorative details. For the decoration, we will also need a ribbon that measures 1 and 3 fourth inches. This will be for the spine of the book and the measurements will be in the pattern. We will also need the adhesive in the same measurement. For our bookmark, we are going to need a stabilizer. The stabilizer we are using mentions on the packaging the instructions and it says that it can be sewn. So it is very important that you find an iron-on adhesive that is sewable. You have to be aware of this when choosing your stabilizer. We will be using the necessary piece. For this, you can use the measurements that are provided in the pattern. If you can't find iron-on adhesive, you can use another material that is thermo-adhesive fabric. We will also need a small amount for decoration. Since we are going to be gluing this to fabrics, we are going to cut the decoration fabrics for the bookmark. Once we've finished cutting, these are the pieces that we should have. Two parts for the book, one piece reduced to approximately one fourth inch. 
Again, these measurements will be indicated on your pattern, which is downloadable down below in the description box. We will need two flaps. We will also put two pylons inside. For the decoration of the book, we will need stabilizer for the pattern of the letter that we are using and the fabric that we will use in contrast or as a combination. In our case, we are making the letter T, but if you do not want to use a letter, you can choose the design that you'd like the most. As decoration for the spine of the book, we will need stabilizer and a ribbon or strap to match the decoration. Now as a special bonus and something extra for this video, we are going to be making a bookmark and you will see how easy and simple it is. We will need stabilizer the size of the pattern, the main fabric, the contrasting fabric, and a small piece of stabilizer for our letter or embellishment. And now, let's get sewing! Before we sew, we are going to iron on all the pieces. If your fabric is not wrinkled, you will not have to do this step. We start with this piece and we will be gluing the pylon to the outside. And we are going to glue half a pylon to the flap so that it is more solid and with more support. We are always guided by the notches we marked when cutting. It should look like this. We should already have the two flaps. We are going to put those directly on the lining. We're going to pin the flap from the corner in like this. You can use pins for this step if you'd like. Now we go to the machine and sew all around. The same application or decoration that we put on the book bag or clutch, we will be putting on the cover or lining of the book. We just have to iron like so without using steam, just using the heat of the iron. We've already cut this strip that is going to serve as decoration. We glue the paper to it this way, again, without using the steam of the iron. Now we are going to be cutting out the letter that we are using or the decoration that we chose. If you are going to use decorative stitches, you can add a little more width when cutting so that the seam does not consume as much of the design. We are going to locate the center of the book. We can guide ourselves by the notches. We are going to place the strip that we had prepared to decorate the spine of the book and having it centered. We iron without using the steam, only the heat. Now we place the ornament in the corner or in the place you like the most. And in our case, it's the letter T. Again, we iron the applications without steam. As you can see, this is a very simple project that you can make to be able to read your book with a personalized touch. We begin to sew the spine of the book like so. Again, if your machine has the option to make decorative stitches, you can choose the one that you like the most. In our case, we chose this one. Now we sew the letter or the decoration that we have chosen in the same way. As this is a handmade work, take your time and enjoy the process. Now we are going to sew the flap against the book cover. As you can see, it is a very simple seam. We will be doing this same process with the other side. Here we are going to face the right of the book cover and the right of the lining. As you notice, here are the notches. So from here we start sewing. We will sew all the round and here we finish and turn. Now we start to sew. We 
We are going to be lowering the four corners without reaching the seam so that they are more neat and less pouched. Now for this base that we have left open, we are going to turn it over. We are going to close this base with a hidden stitch or by hand so that it is well hidden and neat. We ironed and accentuated the seams in this way and we should already have the cover of the book. Now don't leave the video because we're going to make the bookmark as a special bonus. For this we will need again to iron the fabrics. First of all, we will heat the stabilizer or iron-on adhesive inside with the heat of the iron. Now here we are going to mark the pattern and cut it out. We mark the signs to know where we are going to fold it. As you can see, the glue stays on, so we're going to stick it over here. Now we iron it and cut. Now what we are going to do is place the bookmark decoration in the desired place and we will iron it. Now with the decorative stitch of your choice, we are going to sew like so. We will be applying the same sewing method that we did with the book cover. Now we close it where the notch is in this way. We turn it around and sew a little slower in the curvy parts. And now, let's see the finished result! And well, that was the tutorial for the book cover and I'm absolutely in love with this. It's just a beautiful piece to have um, your book in. And this is actually an Agatha Christie book that has several of her stories in the same book. It does not have a cover so it's one of the original ones um, that she started with that it doesn't have a cover like from back in the day. It's just plain black so I wanted to store it in this book cover to have it a little bit more pretty and I really like it because now I know that my Agatha Christie book is the cover at least. It's personalized to my liking and it's just something very beautiful to have in your book collection or in your library. Again, like you saw in the video, we did do the bookmark and it's very easy to make. You see that it takes literally just a few minutes and you have your bookmark. You can also make these and sell them on Etsy. If you're looking to getting into sewing and you want something that you can do quick, you can make some bookmarks personalized like this one, just use our tutorial and you can have a bookmark Etsy store. All right, everyone, so that was all for the book cover. We hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you every time that we upload, although you can also join our newsletter. Just in case YouTube doesn't notify you one day, you'll have our newsletter popping up in your browser letting you know that we uploaded a video. Again, our goal is to make your sewing journey enjoyable and fun, so be sure to make that your priority. Alright, that was all for today's tutorial, and we'll see you in our next sewing video. Bye!